Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, kisses. My name is Rosie for short. And today I am here, comfy in my room, um, beside my closet. And I think I have showed this space a little bit, but not a lot. So basically I have pictures behind me of little Lynn, my sister, my boyfriend. And I'm sitting here all comfy because I'm gonna be doing a Q&A. I asked you guys if you had any questions for me on all my social media accounts and so I gathered the top questions and I'm gonna be answering them and that way you guys get to know me a little bit better because there are a lot of new subscribers in this channel and I want to thank everyone for your support, for subscribing and for all of your nice comments that I always get. I really appreciate that and it means so much to me. So I told you guys that the questions could be anything about beauty, lifestyle, my love life and just anything in general. So I'm gonna go through the list. So let's begin. So one of the questions that I get asked a lot is how did I get long hair? So right now my hair is short, but last year at this time, I, or a little before that, I used to have it so long. It was long like almost touching my belly button or a little bit more than that, but I had it long for so many years. And to be honest, I do miss my long hair. I just cut my hair a few days ago. I'm always cutting the ends. But um, people wanted to know what I did to get long hair. And this is something that I'm doing now again. So what I did, I would drink a lot of water. I think it makes such a difference in what you put inside your body. So I eat fruits and veggies. I drink water. And something that I'm doing now, I'm taking beauty multivitamin so um, the ones that I'm taking it's by the brand Diva and it's for hair nails and skin it's a vegan brand and I love it and it has really good reviews and Amazon so if you guys want to check it out I'm gonna leave it in the description box but that's what I'm taking every morning and I've noticed my nails get strong and yeah that's what I'm doing for now <laughs> What color is my hair? So right now, my color, it's my natural color. It's on, on top, which is like a dark brown. But on the ends, I don't know if, if the camera captures it, but you can see it really well outside when the sunlight hits my hair. And it's like a red, between a brown and a red tint. And that's because I use the vegetable beet and I get the juice from the beets and I mix it with coconut oil and I apply that onto my hair and yesterday I shared with you guys on my snapchat what the process is but in case you missed it I have a video on that so I'm gonna leave it in the description box in case you want to check it out so if you want to get kind of like a red tint then I recommend that video it's a tutorial video that I did okay so the next question is how long have i been vegan so this year has been five years and in april it's gonna be six years and yeah it's been a long time i never imagined i thought i could never be vegan but here i am look at me and i love it i love being vegan i love vegan foods and yeah it's it's been such a great journey and it's one of the best decisions that I've made in my life, really. Um, why did you go vegan? So basically, when I went vegan is because I... You could say that I had a new perspective on everything, the way that I started to think, the way that I started to view life in general. And that's because I would think if I love animals as pets why am I eating animals as food so in my mind you know I just started connecting things for me it, it just didn't make any sense to be eating animals and I just think they're cute they're so adorable and I just couldn't see myself eating them anymore with that I started learning more about the topic on all the benefits that going vegan has so it's not only for the animals but it's for your health it's so healthy to eat plant-based and not only that but it's connected with the planet so <clears throat> 
it's all connected so it's not only about animals it's your health and it's the environment and when you start learning about all this when you start reading books when you see movies about the topic then it's like eye-opening you start seeing everything with new eyes literally <laughs> so um, in case you are interested in going vegan or you're just curious about veganism I already have a page on my blog and I have a list of books and movies and Facebook groups everything so I have a page dedicated to all that in case you want to see it and it's gonna be in the description box okay so the next question related to veganism is my boyfriend George and little Lynn vegan so a lot of people think that they are or that my family is vegan but they're not no one in my family is vegan except for my sister she's vegetarian but my parents they're not my boyfriend he's really open-minded about it but he's not vegan and he likes the food that i make for him i get his lunch ready and when we go out and we go to vegan places to eat so he really likes the food but he's not vegan and as far as little lynn she's not she eats um, she basically eats everything. She likes um, eggs. Um, she doesn't like cheese. Um, and as far as meat, um, she eats chicken and fish, but not like red meat or or bacon. So yeah, she basically eats everything. Um, so where is George? I know a lot of you guys ask where is George because in my in my blog channel, I never show his face, and that's because for many reasons but one is because I still wanted to keep the mystery going on and number two is because um, it's the first boyfriend that I've had for many many years you know after being a single mom for many many years um, it's kind of like protecting my relationship and I wanted to be really sure that everything was gonna work out well that everything was going well just in general in our relationship so um for now um yeah he doesn't appear in the vlogs like i do show him but it's up to like his neck but i i haven't shown his face before yeah so that's basically why um but once we do um the plan is we want to do like a boyfriend tag and that way i can kind of do like the introduction then yeah after that then he'll start up here and you'll see him in my spanish vlog channel so any babies anytime soon no <laughs> not for now we have talked about it we both want babies in the future but for now it's not in our plans before even thinking about having babies we have so many things that we each of us has as goals and things that we want to achieve and before babies we think about traveling there are a few places that we want to go before thinking about babies <laughs> so where do i work so youtube for me is like part time um i also have a blog which takes a lot of time to keep up um but as far as my job i have a part time and I'm an office manager for um, wedding photography so that's what I'm doing now when do I move? so we're gonna be moving we, all, we already started moving we started already buying a few furniture pieces and the place that we are gonna rent has two bedrooms and two bathrooms um, the only thing is that it doesn't have a lot of closet space like I wish it had um, so basically i'm just gonna have to get rid of so many items especially clothes i think that's the thing that i have the most and basically just minimize everything that i have and as far as the decorating we're going for white furniture pieces because the place doesn't have a lot of windows like i wish it had i love natural light i love having sunlight i just don't want to make the space look dark so to help with the overall look of the apartment i do want to buy a lot of white furniture and give it like a modern really nice open space kind of vibe so yeah that's the plan for now so by the end of december we should be in the new place Okay, so the next question from you guys 
is when am I going to Guatemala? So for those of you that don't know, my mom is from Guatemala and my dad from Honduras. We were born and raised in Miami. My mom, she would always take us to her country every year for every summer and we would spend it there for two months and then um, to my dad's country, Honduras, Honduras. We've never been there before and yeah, so I don't know when, when I'm going back. I haven't been to Guatemala in like nine years and I have friends, my family members are there. And apart from that, it's gonna feel strange going back. Um, my grandmother passed away, so just going back to the house and not seeing her there, it's, it's gonna be, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna feel to be honest. And I, I really wanted her to meet Little Lynn. She passed away when Little Lynn was less than a year old. And she was saving up baby clothes for Little Lynn for when we traveled. Um, but that never happened. So I don't know for now. But yeah, in my plans, I would love to go to Guatemala. And that way my boyfriend can go too. He's from Peru. So for now, we're not sure and this kind of goes with the next question um what places would i like to visit so before even planning to go back to guatemala i want to visit other countries so for now what i have in mind is costa rica hawaii um, bora bora um jamaica so if you notice all these places has a lot of green and blue a lot of ocean water those are the type of places that i want to visit where i see a lot of nature so either that or places with a lot of history like the pyramids of egypt or stonehenge or even machu picchu so either like places with nature or with a lot of history so that's it you guys so thank you so much for all of your questions and i appreciate all of your nice comments that you guys always leave me i like reading and replying back and once again thanks for all the support and i hope with this video you get to know me a little bit better about my life and what i do so thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. Kisses. Bye.